Hello everyone, Rich DeMarco with the new head coach of the Army football team, Jeff Munkin. Jeff, thanks for joining us. Congratulations on becoming the 37th head coach in Army history. I'm thrilled to be here. It's an honor and privilege. Take me through the process, how this came together and you came on to be head coach at West Point. I think just uh, my connection with the academies as an assistant under Paul Johnson at Navy and, and, uh, and, and, and the fact that uh, I think Army was looking for a coach that that had uh, military academy ties and and uh, certainly an option background and uh, I'm fortunate that I have both of those those things in my pocket and uh, and, and and Boo reached out to us and and uh, said that they'd be interested in talking with me and I was thrilled for the opportunity and and uh, had a chance to meet with with uh, both Boo Corrigan and and uh, our superintendent uh, General Caslin and and uh, everything worked out great and and I was. I was really impressed with the direction that they wanted the program to go and the things that, uh, that, that they felt like needed to be done in terms of a commitment standpoint to, to get Army football where we want it to be. And, and uh, so I'm here today and just, just thrilled to have this opportunity. Jeff, you mentioned Paul Johnson and you spent time under Paul Johnson as an assistant at Navy and then at Georgia Tech. You've coached at an academy, also a non-academy environment. What is special about being at one of the service academies? I worked for Paul Johnson for 13 years, and uh, it, it, when he got the head coaching job at Georgia Southern, I joined him there, and uh, and we had a great run there uh, in the late 90s and early 2000s, and and we went to the Naval Academy, and I, I really didn't know what to expect when we went. Um, thought I knew what academy football was, and and uh, just just the kinds of people that we'd be working with, but uh, guys, just just so pleasantly surprised that it was uh, just that much better than I ever expected. And uh, I gained a great appreciation for, for the people at the academies, the, the, the young men and women who, who attend the academies, the, the, uh, the administration, the faculty, everyone that, that, uh, that puts, they, they sink their lives into these, these places. It's more than just uh, working at a university, uh, I, I teach at University X or I play at University X. Uh, when, when you go to an academy, everybody there is working for that academy. I play for Army. I teach at Army. I coach at, at Army. It's, it's, it's uh, or sorry, it's, it's for uh, rather than at. We really feel a sense of loyalty. Uh, everybody that's here, everybody that's at these academies feels a, a tremendous sense of connection to, to these institutions, and, and I think that's what make, make them really special. Jeff, you come from a coaching family. How has that, you feel, impacted you throughout your coaching career? My dad was my high school coach, and uh, I grew up around, around football. My, my dad uh, and four of his brothers were all head high school coaches in the state of Illinois while I was growing up, and uh, I, think, I think just seeing the impact that, that uh, my father and my uncles had on, on young people as teachers and as coaches uh, really affected me, my brother, all of my cousins. There are seven of us who are sons of those five brothers who are football coaches now. And uh, we, we were, were very aware of the impact they were making on people in the community, um, young people, students and, 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 and athletes. And, I think we saw uh, what a great influence they could be on people, and it and it really just uh, gave us a, a spirit to serve as well, and and uh, and to go into that that profession. So, I'm I'm glad my dad was a football coach, and I, I can't imagine doing anything else. Jeff, your history with the triple option is well documented. How much are you looking forward to bringing your style of the triple option here to West Point? I've, I've had uh, a, a great mentor in Paul Johnson. And uh, I learned the offense from him. As I said, I spent 13 years uh, working with him and, and, uh, and the great staffs that he had put together. And uh, we're fortunate to have a, a terrific staff. Uh, the last four years at Georgia Southern, been very successful running the football uh, as a triple option team. And we've done some different things. We've, we've, uh, we've, we've branched out a little bit, I guess, as you'd say. And, and, uh, it ran, ran some of the, the option plays from the gun, and I think that's really helped us. And I don't know uh, how much we're going to do uh, under center in the shotgun. I think it'll be a combination of both. 
Uh, but we've really found that, that having the ability to do both of those has, has been beneficial to us. And, and uh, so it'll probably be a little bit different style than, than Army fans have been used to the last couple of years. But, uh, but it's still going to be the triple option. And, uh, and I think it's going to be exciting. And, and uh, I'm looking forward to, to, to showcasing our offense when we get out there next fall. What is your coaching philosophy? What are the hallmarks of a Jeff Munkin coach team? I hope, I hope fans will see a, a team that's tough, uh, a team that's disciplined, a team that plays together, and a, and a team that plays with incredible effort. And uh, that, that's certainly, uh, I think, it just goes in line with everything we want to teach these, these young men and these young women here at the academy. Uh, in, in, in developing them as officers. So I think it really, it really goes along with the mission of our academy. And, and, uh, and, and those are the kinds of things I want people to say about our team. And uh, I'd love for them to say, wow, that's the biggest team, that's the fastest team, that's the most talented team. Um, certainly those make a difference, but uh, those things alone don't win football games. You've got to have toughness and discipline and play together and play with great effort. And, uh, and not one of those things I just mentioned uh, takes any amount of, of physical ability. Run fast, jump high. Uh, it, everybody can do that. And, uh, and I hope that we'll get everybody on our football team to play that way. And if we do, we'll have a chance to win every single time we play. Jeff, as we like to say, Army fans are throughout the Hudson Valley, across the nation, and around the world. What message do you have for the Army fans who are quite excited about you coming on board as head coach? Well, I'm excited to be here as well, and uh, I, I'm, I'm thrilled for the opportunity to, to be able to, to have an impact on these people in, in this organization, our, our coaches, our, our players, our support staff, uh, and, and to hopefully um, you know, bring the leadership that we need to, to get Army football back to, to national prominence. I think that this is a place uh, and I'm confident that, that we as a staff can, can bring Army football back. That it's a special place like no other. And, uh, and our fans deserve, and our Corps of Cadets deserve, and our men and women who are serving all over the world deserve to have a football team that's reflective of the excellence that's here at the Academy. And, uh, and we intend to bring that back to the football stadium here, here at Mikey Stadium and, and, uh, and give our, our fans a, a team that they can cheer for, enjoy, and celebrate victories with. Well, Jeff, big day for you today, meeting the media here. And uh, I know you have a, a lot of places to go, but we appreciate a couple of minutes here. And congratulations on coming on Thank board. You. And of course, best of luck. Thank you. That's Army head coach Jeff Munkin, the new head coach for Army football, the 37th in Army football history. For Night Vision, I'm Rich DeMarco.